I'll say it at the beginning of the video, but I did promise that Ryobi Impact Bit Set today. So that video is now. You're watching it. So really appreciate it. Thanks, my uh, Sawdust Festival video dropped today too. Uh, that is not the final edit on that. Let's go take a look at some Ryobi Impact Bits. Thanks for coming back. I promised you a review of the Ryobi Impact Bits, so we're going to take a close look. You can see I used the uh, enamel paint on the outside, and I kind of put a label on here that, you know, eh, I might have to redo that. But um, the case is kind of slick. It is a softer rubber. Look at that. I can scratch it with my fingernail. Um, so it's not it's not as sturdy as the Milwaukee or some of the harder plastic uh, cases so I mean that's that's not coming out um, it's that's a permanent mark now other than the the softer uh, uh, plastic on the outside um, there are two metal pins uh, for the hinges uh, they are okay. It's, it's the only two metal pieces on this case. Uh, the clip um, that holds it on is just, uh, you know, molded in such a way and strapped in there that it, it snaps shut. It's fine. Uh, we'll do a drop test later and we'll test some of these bits. But let's go through the bits. Um, this is a modular case, which is kind of nice. I've actually taken... Um, uh, several, I, I think I've got like three or four of these cases uh, with different kinds of bits and different things in them. Uh, you can see on the side there are these little slots that these fit into, but uh, just like the outside of the case, the inside has a softer plastic too, so taking these in and out can actually damage the interior of the case. So that makes the, the modular part of it, um, like if you get one out and damage it and put it back in uh, it, and, and put a different back one back in it can damage uh, the case itself on the inside in the process so um, just you're gonna have to see how these fit in for you um, but let's let's take a look at the bits themselves and what it actually comes with uh, it is nice that they flip up and are easy to get out I will say that's a lot easier than some of the DeWalt and Milwaukee cases um, uh, getting these to flip up. Uh, I think it's mainly the DeWalt ones. Some of those go in at an angle and they're a little harder to, to manage. Um, but taking a look first at the bits, um, uh, we have the Allen bits here. So you have a 3 16 a 5 32nd, a 1 8 and a 3 32nd. The square bits, some people call them Robertson bits. You've got a uh, number one, two, and three, and there are actually um, four of the number twos because I guess that's the most commonly used. Uh, the flathead bits, um, there's a four, six, eight, and ten. Obviously, different thicknesses and and uh, and widths. Um, the Torx bits bits are actually pretty decent. Um, there are three uh, T25s. Uh, and there is a T20, a T15, and a T10. I use T20 and T15 more. Uh, I don't, I guess the heavy duty, there are some heavy duty screws that use a T25, um, probably, you know, uh, Torx deck screws or something. Uh, the Phillips bits, there are six number twos and uh, a number one and a number three. Sometimes I need that number one and I don't have enough. I would prefer if they put two number ones and five number threes or five number twos or yeah something like that. Uh, then we come over uh, to our hex hex shank socket drivers, um, and we've got an eight sixteenths, a five sixteenths, a one quarter, and a three eighths. I will say that these bands, especially on the small one, they can slip off. I like them for the high vis. Um, uh, but man, uh, this these bands they all slip off a little too easy. So you may need to get some adhesive if you want those to stay on, or just take them off. It's up to you. Um, but they all have them, 
and you can do with those what you want, obviously. Um, then we look up here at the big boys, and um, these are the two inch uh, torsion bits. They have that torsion zone, helps them also be high visibility. One of the advantages of Ryobi is the high visibility. Um, and of course, one of the uh, Allen bits that I mentioned is up here. The Allen key bit, uh, it's a 532nd, and uh, ugh, man, yeah. So the other thing I, I didn't like, like this is not a bad stamp, but if you look at the stamps on uh, on these, they're very light. Not great visibility on those. So and like to get that in the right spot and everything. So they're not a very deep stamp. Um, you know, you can it's still readable, but it's like eh, a little extra effort wouldn't have been bad on that. Um, so we've got um, as far as torsion, we've got. Uh, Torx bits over here uh, T25 and a T20 and uh, you know the Phillips uh, you're gonna get a three number twos and a number three and a number one uh, Phillips bit um, more of the Robertson or square bits you're gonna get a number three two number twos and a number one on that uh, the flat heads you get an eight and a ten nut drivers I, I called those socket drivers are nut drivers so anyway those are nut drivers then you've got uh, quarter inch and three eighths socket drivers, hex shrink. And I, I have to say that the best part of this kit is probably these bit holders. They are tough, uh, prob probably really tough compared to some other ones. I know he's, I always mention Project Farm, but if you look up uh, bit holders on his channel, uh, there's competition and Ryobi did very, very well in those competitions for for the uh, bit holders, um, you'll you'll be surprised who they beat out. It's it's really good. So take a look at those. Um, so other than the the band slipping, uh, the mediocre stamp and the and the case being easily damaged, it's a pretty solid set. It's uh, it's not awful. Uh, let's go uh, run some tests on them and we'll do a drop test on the case, and uh, you know we'll see where we're at. This is definitely going to split the wheel. Ah, don't embarrass me. Okay, well, definitely, I got to find some better tests. It looks like this is going to be easy. Okay, this one I'm just going to keep on it. Holy cow, that wood smoking. Got some serious friction going on. Okay. Looks like no damage at all. All right, we'll test the nut driver. Whoa. Okay, that just broke a grade eight nut, or grade eight bolt. Broke the head right off of it. Man. I did not realize this thing was so powerful. It doesn't even have speed. It's crazy. Uh, I know grade 8 bolts are a little more brittle, but they're supposed to be stronger. So, give it a shot. Well, it split where it was held. Huh. Well, I guess it wins again. Okay, any damage? Well, the road. Nothing I can see. Oh. Okay. There goes another bolt head. I guess the grade eights are too brittle. Not a lot of damage, it's definitely trying to round off. I don't know. 
So far, so good. Keep it going. Okay, so what I've done here is I've got a bolt and a nut. Now, I think this bolt has been used before, but I'm going to see if I can get this to fit in nicely. This is the number three Phillips bit. So I've got a washer on it that will lock, uh, lock into the back of this wood piece and I'm just going to go for it and see what we can do here. Okay, that's stripped. That took like two seconds to strip that. Uh, no receivable damage. Looks like pieces of that on there. Okay, let's try this a different way. I'm going to put this in a quarter inch uh, yeah I'm going to put this in a quarter inch socket and we're going to use a ratchet I have no idea how much torque I'm putting on this oh whoa okay well both still there let's see came off damage so far. Let's see if we can keep going. Oh jeez. Oh. Okay. There goes another bolt head. I guess the grade eights are too brittle. Not a lot of damage, it's definitely trying to round off. Alright, well let's go ahead and try the socket driver. Let's put on an 11, 11 metric, and I've got an 11 metric stainless steel. Um, I do need to try. Oh, guess I need to tighten it down more. Okay, really tighten it down. See how we do. What the heck? Let's turn it here. <laughs> okay, came out of the bit holder. Came out of the bit holder. Let's try this again. Whoa, okay, broke that off too. Wow. Well, <clears throat> this is the Ryobi socket. Ooh, very warm. Wow. Okay. Huh. That's pretty cool. That's cool compared to the socket. That is broke off in there. Well. <laughs> Man, I don't know, no twisting, looks like a little wear there, looks like it had a few issues that might not be as tight a fit as you like, you know, but it held up quite a while. Ooh. Okay, whoa, ha, ha, still hot. Okay, you can see that it was banging up against it, so... Yeah. I don't know. Oh, man. I'd have a hard time getting that out of there. The real beef socket. Not even rated for impact at all. So we've tested a couple bits. Tested some nut drivers. Tested the socket drivers. I don't know. Seems like a good set. So uh, let's do the drop test. Okay, now some of you might have a mat 
So we'll start with the mat. Um, so got a, about, that's says three feet from, well, right about here, right about my waist or so. It's maybe, yeah, it's about three foot. So let's drop it just kind of flat at three foot and then I'll drop it at an angle. Oops. <laughs> okay, let's drop it. Let's see if it, it, it uh, hits hard. Okay. Oh, it did pop open. Oh, and rails fell out. Holy cow. Okay. So, that was a three foot drop. That was two three foot drops. Looks like, uh, looks like some bits fell out. I did put another um, extension in there that doesn't block normally. Oh, it also made this go at an angle. This is at an angle up here. So now we're gonna have to be really careful about um, taking those out and putting those back and putting them back where they are so we don't mar up the inside of the case. So I'm gonna pause here and put it back in order. So in the process of putting it back in order, you can see, you can see exactly where our, uh, our uh, nut drivers were sitting. This isn't damaged, but you can see it's already marked the inside kind of messed up the plastic just a tiny bit. So the more of these go in and out, it, they're fine. If they're in, you can swivel them up, no problem. But apparently if they pop out, you're putting them back in. Oh, that one I haven't even touched. It's, that's just from the drop. When they pop out, they're gonna do damage. I don't know, these seem like really good bits. I don't have any problems with them. Your mileage may vary. Maybe the wear and tear. Let's come back to it in a year after using them heavily. So this is the part of the video where I walk around casually and tell you my final thoughts. Well, my final thoughts on the Ryobi Impact Bit Set is that there was a lot of damage to that case, putting those things back in, getting everything back in order. It's not great. They really need to work on that case. But you know what? The bits are good. And if you're just paying 10 bucks, that's a good set of bits. And they're kind of nice. They, they have what you need. They have like a little bit of everything for 50 bits. I mean, they really do cover a lot. But um, they have bigger bit sets, as do most of those guys. And... Yeah, I'm walking backwards now because I walked to the end of the room there. But, hey, thanks for learning with me. Thanks for sticking around. I want to thank, we hit 50 subscribers. 50? It's so great. So, thanks and we'll see you pretty soon. Got some stuff in the can.